left offensive line. I suppose as well. Linebacker. Uh, a couple other areas, but uh, good start today. Uh, a lot of energy and enthusiasm, which is always the case on day one. But uh, you know, I'd say you know, a lot better assessment when you get the pads on. But uh, so far, so good. How's it feel to get that contract extension done? Uh, very appreciative. And, uh, very appreciative of the administration. Uh, really, uh, you know, it was a, a great show of support for our program and what we're doing. And, uh, and something like that, it's really important for recruiting. I mean, recruits this day and age, well, they always have, but especially now, they take note of, of stability in the program and, and uh, wanting to make sure that the staff that recruits them is the one that's going to coach them and they're not going to have a whole new staff in a year or two. And so, uh, from that standpoint, it's a, it's a huge positive for us. And so, uh, but like, you know, for me personally, very grateful and uh, thankful to be here as long as I have and, and uh, keep going for at least a little while longer. Last one or more to come? Uh, that's a good question. No, no answer now. <laughs> How's, how's the offense doing? Tyler talked about the terminology changes and that with Andy coming in and that. Do you anticipate a seamless transition? Well, we hope it's it's fairly seamless. You know, there is a, a learning curve, but I thought based on what we saw today, it was, it was a good start. Uh, you know, there's seven more installs to, to come. There's the most of the orders. But uh, that's the biggest thing is getting the terminology down and what Andy's expectations are. You know, a lot of the house structures and the run plays are similar. But uh, it takes a while to get the vernacular down. Uh, well, how did the off season go? What's kind of the vibe two months after the Really good. You know, the, the winter conditioning was outstanding. It was a little bit shorter than usual, it was only six weeks. But uh, it was a uh, great work ethic by our guys. We had some leaders step up. And, and uh, I think uh, based on where we are right now, we're in a good spot. How did the newcomers look on day one? Some good things, you know, Cameron Rising can really throw it when ball comes out of his hand like it's supposed to. Uh, trying to think of all the newcomers out there, Dante Panther was a little bit more. We were a little banged up coming out of the season. We had, I think, five shoulder surgeries, the guys on here, and Rick Covey and Zach Moss. We were a little more beat up than we typically are going into spring. But the good news is, all these guys are going to up right now by some is the recruiting going to address some of the immediate needs you have, all the guys you sent to the combine, or is that going to have to come from inside the roster? I think both. A little bit of both. There's a couple offensive linemen we're really counting on. We're not here yet. But uh, we're in the mix. Uh, Francis Bernard is not out here. Of course, he's not here now. But uh, I would say that uh, in between, it's probably a 50 50 blend between the guys that are already here and the guys that are coming in to uh, fill some of those holes. Your program's always had an underdog mentality, and now there's a lot of high expectations from outside. Does that feel any different? Uh, not really, because we're not, you know, we, we know we've got a lot of work to do, and I, you know, we, uh, we understand that we haven't been anybody yet. It's a lot of hard work ahead of us. I guess it's nice for the program to be recognized as a, as a team that's doing some good things, but I don't think we're going to change this team to come over confident or losing that underdog mentality. So, do you embrace the expectations, though? I don't really pay attention to it. There's so much that's going to transpire between now and the lineup for the first game. And it's, it's all speculation. But uh, like I said, the positive is, is we're starting to be uh, in those conversations, which, yeah. which is better than uh, not being on the But the kids hear that type of stuff. They is do. there any concern about that? Uh, you're always concerned about things like that, but you know, I think our guys are pretty well grounded. I think we do a pretty good job as a coaching staff. Making sure they understand what I just said today. A lot of expectations we want to get anybody out. We got to go out and prove it on the field. Nobody cares what anybody talks about. It's what you do on the field. But don't those expectations help you when it comes to recruiting because kids want to play with winners? I think it does, yeah. I think that those expectations become come about because you've won games. And so I think it goes hand in hand. But uh, yeah, the more you can build up the brand, better recruiting. How do you work on day one? Um, really good. Yeah, really sharp. He's, he's about 195 pounds, which is positive. We get him over 200 for the season. That'll help him and help us. And, and uh, it'll help his durability. So that's uh, something we don't want to backslide there. Uh, he did a good job last offseason, but then we lost him down the season. Right now, so. so if he can continue on the trend he's on and continue to build him stronger, then uh, he could be uh, positioning himself for a really good season. Here. What's the basis of the appeal for Batman? It is based on circumstances, uh, 
uh, health circumstances of some of his family members, uh, a little bit about the major that he wants to, to uh, be involved with, and, and opportunities for that here as opposed to, to the school he left. And so there's, there's three or four things that are factoring into that. We should find out in the next, hopefully, four to six weeks what the situation is. Yeah. Well, the first look at Manny Bowen, man, we uh, We got a very brief look at Manny Bowen because he had class. Oh, so, cool. yeah, we typically don't practice on Mondays, and so uh, this is the only Monday, in fact, of all spring we practice it. So he was only here for a limited time, but it, based on what we've seen in the winter conditioning and his, just his uh, physical profile, his ability to jump and lift. Wise, it's, it's all very good. Yeah. Did Donovan Thompson leave the team? Yeah, Donovan Thompson is not with us at this point. And, uh, yeah. I doubt for the movie back, but I wouldn't say that there is a team. Cool. Is it his oh, yeah. Well, it's already thin, as it is, but, but uh, we got Francis, uh, who will be in the town here yet, and we'll be ready for summer. We got Manny, we got Devin Lloyd, who's really making progress. I think he's got a, a ton of upside. Andrew Matahafa, Sion Lung, he's doing a very nice job. So, so we'll be up there, but, but uh, you know, I miss Donovan, so we wish he would have stayed, but he still may, although I'm kind of not completely, but that uh, you know, wasn't ideal when he made the decision to, to step away. But, Bowen was disciplined multiple times at Penn State. How much did you have to check on that before that? We did our due diligence and we, we vet the guys we bring to this program as, as well as we possibly can. And I can tell you right now, since he's been here, he's been phenomenal. He's, he's got a great attitude and uh, has had not one issue since he's been on campus. And uh, he's really shown the really respect for his teammates. He was not just disciplined, but he didn't get the playing games at the end of the year, missed bowl games, and given how, given the lack of depth of position, you know that that could be really damaging. How, how do you handle that? I mean, you talk to people and you vet them, but how much do you trust sitting across from a guy and looking him in the eye and hearing how badly he wants to play football? Yeah, it's a gut feel. I, mean, I had several conversations with him before we got here, before we made the final decision, before we made this final decision. But uh, we have a way of when guys join us, they become us. Uh, you know, it's happened in uh, several, several instances. And, uh, a lot of guys are leaders on the team, and, and uh, the guys that he associates with kind of let them know what the expectations are here and how we do things. And, but he had the right attitude going in. If he hadn't, it, we wouldn't have uh, gone on. And so I felt very strongly that he, is, uh, he understood the mistakes he made understood what has to happen going forward. And he's got a, you know, he's got a lot right now too. He's got, he's got an NFL future here that, that's uh, dependent upon him doing things the right way. Do you personally have more confidence in your ability to kind of discern what needs to be done in these situations and how it might play out because you've been through it so many times and because maybe not always but often it has worked out well? I would say yeah. I think our track record is pretty good on the, on the uh, I don't want to say risk, but the, but the guys we brought in the program that maybe have a little bit of a uh, checkered past. And so you're never going to be right 100% of the time, but I think our track record says that, that uh, we've made pretty good decisions and uh, done a pretty good job of determining who deserves those second chances. Is Brian Purtis on the team? No, Brian Purtis has been dismissed and uh, will not be in the team. He's not uh, going to be No, Brian Purtis is not in the team. Are you going to graduate?